Welcome to Songshow Plus. In this video, we're going to cover two basic things. First of all, an orientation of the presenter window or this user interface of Songshow Plus. And then we're going to go over a couple of the basic features that Songshow Plus offers. So the first thing is to explain these different panels. So this first one is called Media Control Panel. And essentially what that does is when I'm presenting a media item, I have some controls here that I can do. And these different controls uh, are going to change dynamically based on the type of media that I'm using. So in this case, I'm playing a video right now, and I can stop, pause, rewind. If I do you know, a scripture, then this is going to change, and I can you know, go to another step, or I can... Uh, play, pause, you know, go backwards, and so on. So this panel will change depending on the type of media that I'm using. This display monitor panel actually has a representation of what the congregation is going to see on the projection output. This media files panel actually shows all of my files, and you can see that Songshow Plus is organized by different types of files, like there's images, videos, slideshows, and so forth. The program panel is intended to allow us to create a lineup for a service. So we, we have all the different elements at the ready. So songs, scriptures, uh, sermon illustrations in a slideshow format, video clips, anything like that that we might play or present during an average service, we can compile into this program panel. And then lastly, we have this improv collection panel, which is really for spontaneous types of things that we want to put up on the screen. So we're going to close that for a little bit. Now we can close and open panels, we can resize panels, uh, we can relocate them. So feel free to adjust your user interface or your presenter window however you want to. Now some of the basic features or functions of Songshow Plus are going to be presenting songs, presenting scriptures, and maybe doing a slideshow. Uh, so we'll start with songs. Songshow Plus comes with stock hymns or public domain material because it's free. Um, anything that's current and contemporary, you'll usually have to bump into copyright and permissions. So in order to get those songs into Songshow Plus, you have to put them in yourself. And there's a variety of ways to do that. So if we, we go over here to this import option, uh, we can choose from one of these options that we have here, like Microsoft Word, uh, PowerPoint, um, song select online. This is by far the most common. Most churches will have a CCLI license to start with and probably a song select subscription, which allows you to download lyrics right from their website. We highly recommend this as an option because it's really easy to do. So for example, if I just type in the song, you know, Waymaker, I can uh, populate the lyrics just to verify that that's the song that I want perform the import, and now add it to my program. And now I have a new song that wasn't in there just a few seconds ago, and I already have everything broken down based on verses, chorus, bridge, you know, all the different uh, song parts. So that's a super easy way to add songs into your Songshow Plus library. Uh, scriptures are fairly straightforward. Again, Songshow Plus comes with some standard public domain versions. We also do have some con contemporary translations available for purchase. So if your pastor uses a specific translation, you can purchase that. Um, so, for example, New King James. And then we can do, you know, scripture verses. Again, just add the verses over and then present them on the screen. Uh, when we hit play over here, this play arrow, it just puts it on the screen. Uh, we can also expand different items here. So if we wanted to look at something in a little bit more detail, we can do that. Um, slideshows is very similar to, um, to the rest of these different types of media. So for example, if we have announcements, we can play those. And we can put those, you know, usually at the top. You know, we might add a a service item or a service section here as pre-service and maybe we put our announcements there um, and then we can do our worship section and then maybe our message so that's a good way to kind of visually break up the service program so that we have different sections uh, you can also play videos. You'll need to import your own videos. Songshow Plus doesn't come with any sample videos or images. 
Um, so you'll just need to import those. And then once you have those, you can add them either as a background to a song or a scripture, or you can use it as a standalone item. So for example, if we have a timer, So we could present that as its own separate video, or we could add a video as a background to an item. So for example, this Waymaker song right here, we could go into our slide properties, choose a background, select the video. So we'll just select this one right here and then apply that. And then now that becomes the backdrop of this song. So the lyrics are up on top of the video. But you get the idea that this is a video background. I can also select just a solid color background or an image background. So I have a lot of different options that I can go with there. Um, so those are some of the fundamental functions that Songshow Plus will do. We have a lot more training videos on how to run Songshow Plus. So if you're new to Songshow Plus or the media team at your church and you want to know more about it, Make sure you contact us. We have tons of different training that you can access and walk you through how to do all of the other things in Songshu Plus. So thanks for watching.